What is our next main topic today? This is from Thomas Madden. Peacemaker just keeps getting better and better. Yes, it does. <laughs> There's not a weak character on the roster. It's hilarious, but seems real all at the same time. Can't wait for tonight's episode and hear your thoughts on it. Well, obviously, when he says tonight's episode, obviously, he he wrote that in yesterday. Uh, and of course, last night, was peace. it's, it's kind of good. You get back to back. Like, Tuesday nights for us is Book of Boba Fett night. Then Wednesday night is Peacemaker night, which is... A and then Thursday... It's game day for Jackass. Game so it's day. been a good week for me. I'm looking forward to seeing Jackass. So anyway, last night, The Peacemaker uh, comes out, the new episode of Peacemaker. And I I'm going to tell you what, the the jaded, bitter, disappointed fanboy in me who's just always waiting for the second shoe to drop. I've been waiting for the Peacemaker episode that's going to make it jump the shark. The Peacemaker episode is going to tell us, ah, that's right. This is just a low budget Warner Brothers, whatever thing. I've been waiting for it. I've been loving the show. I have. I absolutely love this show. I think it's the best thing DC's ever put on television. But every time I start an episode, I'm like, I'm wondering if this is the episode. Well, that's going to be night, when it jumps the shark. James Gunn came back to write and direct again. Yeah, I think he wrote all of them. So there's one or two he didn't direct. And even those ones were great. So he actually wrote and directed this one again as well. So I'm like, okay, we'll see where it goes. And damn it, Rob, this show will not let go. It just, it continues to be awesome. And we heard before the episode came out that James Gunn said that this was going to be the wildest episode yet. I'm like, dude, you had your guys fight an alien infested gorilla with and beat him with a chainsaw through his back, cutting through his body. How are you going to get more wild than that? But they did, Rob. They made it. Last night's episode of Peacemaker was the wildest one yet. And by the way, if I didn't already love Eagly, Eagly, <laughs> it's like when Eagly starts killing fools. I like. First of all, that one shot of first was grotesque. When Eagly knocks the guy down and starts pecking his eyeballs out, I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> That poor guy. Well, shout out to D. Bradley Baker, who's voicing an eagle and making all these <laughs> eagle noises. Do it. Like, ah, it's amazing. So Eagly is kicking ass. Again, I'm just falling in love more and more with the dynamic between Vigilante and Peacemaker. I just mm -hmm. love that character even more. It's like, this is one scene where he's like, what do you think? Vigilante and me are idiots? And it cuts to Vigilante. <laughs> hey, guys, which one's Eagly and which one's me? I'm like, oh, my God, this is so unbelievable. But then the alien infestation. <laughs> the alien. I never thought I'd ever see alien butterflies invade the earth. Oh. <laughs> or all, invade the, the town, all the little the ships room. come out. And also, <laughs> but we've seen like oh, an alien go into somebody's ear. James Gunn decided to go really graphic. Oh, yeah. Because when the aliens are going into the mouths, I'm thinking, okay, it's going to crawl down. And no, blood splattering and all this kind of stuff. I'm like, this is kind of uncomfortable. But wild, and then they start, they invade the the police station, and they start like that was awesome. Oh, it was so cool. That was awesome. And and then John Cena at the end. You know what? If I had read this in a script, I would have said cut. The, I would have said cut this out. It's just going to take up screen time. Is the scene where John Cena is just sitting there at the end? And was it Home Sweet Home? Is that what he's playing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, home bad. Motley Crue. Yeah, he sits out at the piano and he starts playing the the piece. If you had, a, if I had read that in the script and said, okay, ninety, a minute and a half of just John Cena sitting there playing the piano, I said, no, that's going to drag. Take that. But I'm watching it, and you felt every emotion. You knew they didn't show you flashbacks, but as he's playing the piano, and you just see his face in your own mind, you can see what memories are going through his his mind. The way they set that all up, and I was expecting white dragon to bust through the wall at the end of him playing the piano yeah. that didn't happen that's coming up by the way white dragon getting his freaking stuff all on it's like what's going on oh my god this show gets better and better the mern stuff the by the way the title of this week's episode mern, mern after, after reading, reading. <laughs> so good hey guys we want to take a second and thank the sponsor of today's episode stamps.com now you know stamps.com they've been supporting the john campus show for a while here now let's face it going to the post office is time consuming and really not the way you want to be spending your time and that's why i highly recommend to do your mailing and shipping online with stamps.com Stamps.com allows you to mail and ship anytime, anywhere, 
right from your computer. It, you can send letters, ship packages, and you can pay a lot less with discounted rates from UPS, uh, USPS, and more. You see, that's why Stamps.com is a must-have for any business. Whether you're a small office sending out invoices, an online seller shipping out your orders, whether you're somebody who's just trying to send things out to your friends and family, or if you're a giant warehouse, like sending out thousands of packages a day, Stamps.com can handle all of it with absolute ease. And here's the best thing. With Stamps.com, you get up to 40% off of post office rates and up to 62% off UPS shipping rates. And this is why Stamps.com is an absolute no-brainer. It saves you time. It saves you money. It's no wonder that nearly 1 million small businesses already use Stamps.com. So stop wasting your time going to the post office and go to Stamps.com instead. There's no risk. And with my promo code Campia, just go up to that microphone up in the corner, click on that and enter my code campia you get a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale no long-term commitments or contracts needed again just go to stamps.com click on that microphone at the top and enter the promo code campia stamps.com never go to the post office again uh, anyway chris you watched the episode last night what was your thoughts of uh, peacemaker episode six Mern after reading i loved this so much we could just see gun going back to those trauma roots too yeah. right. like uh, <laughs> how graphic that was was just ooh, chef's kiss oh it was so good and and we have just so much time where there's no dialogue in this episode too from that invasion which starts off kind of beautiful oh yeah it's, yeah it just looks like fireflies coming in and then you see the threat and then you see them go to the police station and then we cut to john cena john cena y'all playing the piano <laughs> with his We're, big meaty his, sausage exactly hands. how are you gonna double that but and he actually plays piano he's done some wonderful covers online and and you just go from this kind of epic violent moment to this beautiful well acted bit from cena i i could not have loved this more yeah i i dug it a lot rob you had a chance see i mean i i just cannot believe what they've been able to pull off because and i admit it before this show came out i was a doubter i saw the pre and i love james gunn deep like everybody knows i'm a huge fan of james gunn but i saw the previews it looked low budget to me it looked yeah this doesn't I can't believe uh, how what did uh, how did last night's episode start? Dude, I I loved it. I mean, look, you know, between Slither, the Suicide mm. Squad, and this, uh, James Gunn has a way with alien invasion, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm so there for it. I mean, it, it, it was uh, it, it, the thing is, you know, this show is just so delightfully bonkers that from scene to scene, I really have no idea what's going to happen next on the show. I, I mean, you maybe a plot wise, you can guess, but it's the characters, it's the situations, it's what they say, it's how they act. It, it's so delightfully off the wall that I, 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 I you can't watch the show without a, a grin from ear to ear. It's just that enjoyable. I don't know where they're going to go, though. How are they going to end this thing? Well, there's still two episodes to go. Oh, no, I know. And I'm just like the the threat was raised to a quite a dire level it's an apocalyptic level yeah actually, I, I mean sudden. and i'm like how, how do you maybe star will show up <laughs> well, no, listen by the way to... can i ask this mm -hmm. quickly you, you both y'all have seen slither yes yeah. my, my favorite my favorite james gunn film I, I i that is one of the most underappreciated films ever made to me which has a there's a lot of slither in in this especially even uh, last night i agree but here's my question when they show the overhead shot of the farm where they think the cow is was i not the was i the only one getting slither oh, vibes from that 100 oh. right i just i'm not saying james gunn's crossing every anything over here i'm just like Ooh, I need to that got, movie. got that feeling from it yes. I, I don't know anyway guys question is for you did you have a chance to see peacemaker burn after reading which i loved and by the way there's still some iffy like what was where's judo master I guess he's still hooked up to the IV when he was trying to say to to him when he was trying to say what was he saying the, the butterflies aren't is yeah the, what it starts off as the butter you don't understand the butterflies it's like well, what was judo master gonna say exactly I wanted to ask you guys about this whereas where where are you sitting on the butterflies because obviously something hinky's going on they don't seem like they're here to be nice to us but then is Mern lying because Judo Master was saying something? Like I, I do not know where this is going. But then, but so I was, I was watching that episode with the assumption 
Mern is the bad alien and all the other ones because of what Judah Master said, the good ones. Mm-hmm. But then last night's episode happens. Exactly. And I'm like, I ain't so sure about that anymore, right? It's like, so I don't know. I have so much to find out. Two more episodes to go. Question is for you guys. What did you think about last night's episode of Peacemaker? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Maybe the show hasn't been working for you. Maybe it's your greatest show ever. Whatever you guys are thinking, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.